Budivelnik Kiev flew to Moscow to face Seska and tried to get a good early lead with Ricky Minard. Then Seska Moscow reacted with Milos Teodosic and even took the lead. Viktor Kriapa helped the Russians from beyond the arc and they managed to get ahead by 13 in the third period. But Mika Downs, 16 points in the second half, closed the gap once again in the final period. Sasha Kaun, with a three-point play, called the game over. It was 72-67 in the end. Partizan Nis Belgrade hosted JSF Nanterre in front of a rousing crowd at Pioneer and took advantage of it in the first half. Dragan Miloslavjevic scored 15 points, showing a good range of shooting, and the Serbian squad built a safe lead, 37-23. Bogdan Bogdanovic joined the party in the third quarter with a barrage from downtown and Terence Kinsey put the game in the strong box for an easy 73-43 win. Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul hosted FC Barcelona. The Turkish team led the first half with Bo Mekelib, 42-31. Barcelona came back after the break. Alex Abrins scored 46-44. Fenerbahce answered back with Luka Zoric and made the scoreline 60-44. When Bayan Bogdanovic hit a long two-pointer, the hosting team had 12 points advantage with two minutes left. Despite a 10-0 run by Barcelona, closed by Massier Lampe, it was Fenerbahce who clinched the win 75-70. FC Bayern Munich faced Montepaschi Siena and the Italian team started well as Daniel Hackett netted a 9-16 lead. But Bayern Munich replied with an 18-4 break capped by Heiko Schafarczyk and then Malcolm Delaney scored at the buzzer to put the Germans up 46-33 at half-time. In the second half, Bayern increased the gap to 76-52 early in the last period and the late comeback from Siena only cut the deficit, so Munich won 89-79 in their second game. Panathinaikos Athens hosted Laboral Kuka Victoria in Nicosia Cyprus. The Greens took an early lead with Antonis Fotsis, caught by a good assist dished by Rocco Ukic. Panathinaikos took a 20-point lead with Ramel Curry on 48-28 and never looked back, notching a couple of great plays with James Gist's dunk. Andres Nocioni tried to put Laboral back into the game, but in the end Panathinaikos easily won 95-74. Panathinaikos managed 31 assists, tying the Euroleague record. Unicaja Malaga hosted Stelmet Zielonagora and were in control of the game early on as Earl Callaway scored a 15-6 run. The visitors tried to come back thanks to Vladimir Dragicevic, but then Unicaja got a huge margin and never looked back. Zoran Dragic increased that margin, then Nick Kanamedli dunked after a spectacular assist from Callaway. Mindaukos Kuzminskas completed the play in transition to lead Unikaha to the final score, 101-68. Anadolu FS Istanbul visited Strasbourg and reached a comfortable 18-point lead on a dunk by Stanko Barac. The home team stayed behind but got within five points in the third quarter with Romain Dupont. In the fourth quarter, Zoran Planinic scored five points in a row to give Istanbul a double-digit lead. But Alexis Ayinka put Strasbourg back in the game, capping a 9-0 break. It was Planinic who stepped up again with the three-pointer that bagged the victory 66-76 on the road for FS. <laughs>